never hear of circumstances over which we have no control rushing us into peace, do you? <laughs> Very determined woman, my daughter. Go on and I'll ask her and see if you can pick a fight somewhere else. Excuse us. Good for you. Wasn't he a bore? So many worthy people are, my dear. Bless them. How do you do? How do you like to be fishing in Ireland at this oh. minute? Awful pace we're going. Haven't had a good sailor swim together in months. Not even a game of cribbage. Miss them? Up anchor mate, there's the Admiral. He has a weakness for you. Go on, do your stuff. Ah, oh, here you are, the Jones that became a Haverstock. Have a good trip across? I still wish we were Richard Harding Davis. So do I, sir. Anything except... Uh... Hello? Oh, hello. I want you to meet Mrs. Appleby. Mrs. Appleby, this is Mr. Huntley Haverstock, special correspondent, New York Globe. Foreign correspondent? Not really. Cross my heart. Oh, but you look such a dear, sweet boy. You don't seem a bit like the others. You know, they say. Oh, no? Ah, uh, but I'm sure you're marvelous at it. I wonder if you know a friend of mine, Monty Rockingham. He's in the embassy at Istanbul. Or is it Honolulu? Do help me with this distinguished-looking gentleman over here. I can't make any headway with him at all, but I'm sure he must speak some language. Everybody does. I have the least idea who he is, but there isn't anybody here who isn't internationally important. This is Mr. Hatter. Uh, Stark. My name is in Prechtil, Pjungs. And as more lapis, me are all representatives. And no English? Vous parlez français? Try German. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Splendid. What else do you know? Well, only Pig Latin. Pig Latin? Oh, here we are. This will do it. Ah, fly the ball. Now we're getting somewhere. The universal language. Dear Maharaja. <laughs> ah, Cayunis Clair. Cayunis Clair, President Pian. Dig us a shot lap, Skyista. Well, hell, they come in pairs. Uh, if you speak English, will you give me a hand with the laughing Latvian? What's his racket? What's he talking? Latvian? No kidding. I didn't know the lads had a language. I thought they just rubbed noses. You mean you actually speak Latvian? Just enough to get about. Well, what does just enough to get about consist of in Latvia? Well, I don't think you'd have any trouble. It'd be a comfort to know when I get to Latvia. Oh, you think there might be a chance of your getting to Latvia soon? Mm, you never can tell in my record. I suppose you've guessed I'm a foreign correspondent. Are you? That's nice. I uh, see you're taking notes. Are you covering this affair, too? Well, I sort of work here. Oh, publicity. Well, you're just the one I'm looking for. We've got to go in a secret conference right away. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Me? Excuse me. I beg your pardon, sir, but I have a Latvian friend here who's particularly interested in the origin of the kilt. I wonder if you'd be interested in talking to him. He's a lovely fellow. It's a most amazing story. You see, the Greeks in the early period, they used 